In this part of the HELDAP guide, we will cover the membership group features. Furthermore, we will talk about how to register our paid plan product in the app and to link the store default menus within the app. For the membership groups, go to the manager page. There, select push and members and click on the permission group settings to create a paid membership group. The administrator, users and guests are default groups. So we only need to create a group for our paid users. To create a new group, click on the create permission group button. Here, we'll set ratings, name and description of our paid users group. We'll set the rating at eight, which is a higher rating than the guests and users have. If you have multiple paid plans, you can create multiple user groups excluding the default ratings. Rating 8 is the lowest and 1 is the highest. The higher the rating, the more access the users of that group will have to all the features in your app. When non-paid users will try to access a paid users group, they'll see this description as a pop-up message. Later on, we will link this paid users group with our paid product and menus to limit access of non-paid users to paid menus. By this, when users will make payment, only then they'll be able to access the paid menus of the app. Now, for the Swing to App Store, to register products in our store, we need to activate the Swing Store product feature. On the Manager page, go to My Menu and click on My Store Options. Click on the Activate button. Now you'll see the store options here. Click on it and select the product option to open the store feature settings. First, we'll create the product category for our paid users. Click on the add button and fill out the product category's name, image and description. If you have multiple product categories, set visibility priority accordingly. Now we'll register our fitness paid plan product. Go to the product item registration and click on digital product. To link the paid users permission group with our paid product in registration right and duration set the duration per product validity and set product category as paid user the important settings are done now so you can fill in the other basic settings like the product's name image and price once you've filled in all the details click on the save button if you wish to modify anything just go to the product list options explore other features of the shop and set the details accordingly now to link the store default menu with the app, go to the maker page, select the page menu and click on link wizard button. Then click on the swing function to explore the store menus. From the shop cart to the shop main page feature are all store menus and will be available only after you activate the store feature. For our app, we'll only use my page and the product category feature. To link the My Page feature with the menu, click on the menu, change its name and click on the Link Wizard button. Then click on the Swing function and select My Page feature. Then click on the Reflect button, then the Apply button and lastly the Save button. This is how My Page menu will look in our app. My Page feature consists of a variety of options like the shopping cart, the order status and more. Now, let's link the digital product category with our menu. To link the product category feature with our menu, click on the menu, change its name and then click on the link wizard button. Select the product category. Click on the search button to make the category visible. Select the category, then click on the reflect button and then the apply button and finally the save button. This is how the product category menu will look in our app.